There we go. The recording is working and I see some beautiful faces and I see people without camera as well. Hey, everybody, whether you have a camera on or off, super happy that we are all here. Can you hear me and can you see me? Please just give thumbs up. Perfect. Amazing. Wonderful. Gonna let in some more people. Wonderful. Amazing. So I'm super, super happy that we are here for this medical topic. And this medical topic that we will be talking about, the practical steps that Jonas and I are right now using to uh, be working from beaches around the world during this year. Um, it came to me on Sunday because I'm always getting so many ideas. I'm like, what do I want to talk with everybody about? And then I was like, we are in that phase right now. So many of you know, Jonas and I already lived in Thailand before, and we lived in Bali before, and that was absolutely incredible. And then we have been home in Sweden for a while, and we upgraded to a nice apartment that we really wanted to manifest, and this is the one we're living in now. And now we start to feel like, hey, we, we want to get back on the road. Uh, we want to get back to the beaches and we just want to really enjoy the lifestyle of being completely free. We are completely free here as well. But like for me, being on the beaches and just having that part of life is, is just awesome. And that is what I wanted to bring you all along. So who feels that it would be awesome to have the ability to work from the beaches around the world? A few people, amazing, wonderful, <laughs> I'm super happy. So I'm gonna go through the practical steps um, that, we'll, th that, we are, that we are looking at now. And some of these steps are absolutely important in order to make it happen. And some of them are definitely optional, but they are very good to, to be aware of in order to actually have an amazing time while you are on the beaches. So who, who is excited for this topic? Amazing. I love that. I love that. Uh, and for Marie, I also just want to say that your background looks so beautiful with the big windows. It's, it's looking amazing. <laughs> really, really nice. <laughs> I'm just going to let someone else in. Amazing. Wonderful. Okay. There we go. All right. So the first thing that we need to do when we want to do something, whatever it is that we want to create in our life, I always talk about start with an intention. What is the intention? What, what is the reason why we want to be on the beaches in the first place? Well, what is it that we want to accomplish? And we can do this in several ways. We can look at the physical, the physical part of it, like what is the intention regarding the physical, but then also what is the emotional side of the manifestation that we want to create so we want to look at what is the intention first of all that we want to have when we are traveling the world and for me when i'm looking at this now so the, the other time when we when we decided to move to thailand and then to bali my intention was yes to tap into the newfound freedom that i had created because that was about a year after I became a hypno coach, about a year after that, I was able to live my life from anywhere in the world. And back then, I was just so excited because I had been watching the movie Eat, Pray, and Love. Who, who has been watching Eat, Pray, and Love? Knows what I'm talking about. Okay, I find that. So I see uh, that you have watched it. Okay, it's an incredible. Um, movie with Julia Roberts uh, where she uh, so she's the main character and she's living her life where she feels very very stuck so she is I can't remember oh yeah she's a book author in New York I think and she's just feeling that something is missing in her life she uh, she doesn't really belong to the life that she has created for herself and then she actually makes the move so first she goes to Italy then India than Bali and I was so fascinated by that movie it really helped me to transition so much because my whole life I knew I wanted to freedom. um he's gonna let someone else in 
hey Annika, I just let you in, hey, hey. Yeah, so when I was watching that movie, it just helped me so much, it gave me hope. I was like, okay, there are other people who feel like I feel. So a movie character really helped me to see that there are more people that truly want to have freedom in their life. And the freedom feeling for me, who has ever felt like a deep longing that you wanted to create freedom in your life? Who has ever felt that? Okay, amazing, wonderful. Then you know what I'm talking about. I felt this so strong in my whole being. I knew my life is, I'm not meant to be stuck. I knew this, many of you have heard my story already, but for those of you who are new to me, I knew this since I was three years old when I first started to go to daycare and I was like, I did, this is not my life. I'm not meant to live this way. I'm meant to be free. And so that was really my drive the whole time. So that movie inspired me and that movie set Bali on the map for me. I didn't know so much about Bali before, but it really set that, um, it became a picture in my head. I was like, I really wanna go to Bali. And then when Jonas and I met, um, he had already been to Bali and he was super happy to, he, he wanted to go back uh, as well. So for me, it was the first time in Bali for Jonas, it was the second time in Bali. Uh, but back then it was the intention of just testing out my, my freedom. As I said, because I had already started, I, I was already making money online, doing what I loved and I was able to just be free. So that was the intention back then. And now things have evolved a bit more and I already, I feel that kind of freedom every single day, no matter where I am. But now this time around, my intention now is more connected to my branding because I, I always want to be, because I know that all the women that are drawn to my work, they want to have that freedom. Most of the women who are drawn to my work, they are stuck in a job right now and they really want to have the freedom. And I'm thinking like, what can I do? Something that I love myself, but that really, really, really inspires my women to, to understand what is actually possible. So this is my one of my biggest intentions now for this trip. So we are still talking about number one, knowing your intention with why you want to go. So for me, since my biggest intention is taking a lot of beautiful, amazing photos, filming from there, making videos, making the weekly live calls from wherever we are going. It looks like we're going to Mexico now first. Um, so that is my intention now. And when we know our intention, then it's going to be more it's going to be more clear and more easy to know where in the world do we actually want to go. So for me, for example, now when I know my intention, I know like, okay, if I want to be in really inspiring places, and I also know that one of my amazing clients, Sophia, she, she has set her intention now. She's like, this is the year because she's starting to take on clients now. She has just become a master manifestor hypno coach and she's starting to take on clients. And she's, she has set her intention. She's like, this is my year when I will start to travel. This is my year where I will be on the beaches and just doing amazing things. So that inspired me as well so much to see that my clients are really taking these steps right now. So when she was mentioning inspiring places, I was like, what are the places that I really think are inspiring places? So then for me, it became very obvious that I really want to go to a place where they have the white sandy beaches like the real, you know, the really white sand, the powdery white sand like that. So the place we're going to must have those kind of beaches. And I'm also looking at, because I love design and I love like the nice aesthetic of things. I really, that was one of the things that we loved about Bali, uh, especially Shanggu where we used to live, that they had so many nice cafes, so many nice restaurants. It was like so lovely. Like every day felt like an Instagram photo. <laughs> and it really was like that. That was actually the reality. And I really love that. So those are the things that I'm really looking for now. So when we know what the intention is, then we can start the next phase. And the next thing we obviously need to do is that we need to have an online income. That is just obvious. Um, so I have several videos on this and if you are brand new to my work and you have not, you don't know how to become a master manifesto coach, you don't know really what I do, I would highly encourage you to watch my other videos. One of them is how to become a master manifesto hypno coach, making, 
making for the 8,000 second month. That is the one video. And the other video I would recommend to watch is how to make money from your empathic gifts. So I would definitely go and watch those two videos. I'm going to say here what you said about uh, Mexico. Whole box in Mexico. Amazing. Thank you for the advice. I'm going to take a photo of that. Wonderful. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so that is the, the second thing that obviously you need to have an online income and you need to be free to decide whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it. So if you don't know yet how to do that, I would highly encourage you to go and watch those other two videos. So let's say that you do have the vehicle, you have the income. The next thing I was would look at that Jonas and I are looking at is when will this happen? To really set an understanding for yourself, when do you actually want it to happen? And we know since we are going to a event, uh, a business event in the US, we're going there in May. So then it was kind of obvious for us. So since we're already going in that direction in the world and we are already going to be traveling, it's going to be perfect for us to do our beach beach life <laughs> again in Mexico. It's going to be perfect to do that in combination with the US trip. So for us, that's going to be somewhere around May. Um, but that's the thing, like when, when I ask people about their goals, there are so many times I hear people say like, oh, somewhere next year or somewhere in the autumn. And it's, I, I can really tell whenever somebody is actually going to achieve what they want to achieve just by hearing how specific they are with their goals so the more clear we can become like oh i actually want to be going in may or i actually want to be going in april or whatever it is the clarity in the when it's going to help so extremely much does that make sense clarity of when so this was one of the big mistakes, by the way, that I was always doing before. Before I started my coaching business, I was in network marketing. For those of you who have heard my story, you know I was in network marketing for 10 years. And I think it came from the belief that I did not believe that I actually could achieve my goals because I was always wishy-washy when it came to the when. It was always like, oh, in two years, because back then as well, I wanted the freedom. So I was like, oh, in two years, I'm going to move to Miami. But then a year went past and I was still saying, in two years, I'm going to move to Miami. So I was just like, every single day, I was saying the exact same thing around the timing of when I was going to go. Do you see what I mean? Like the goal was just like moving further and further and further away. So the timeline was always the same because I did not, I didn't have a specific time frame. So this is the thing when we want, if any of you feel like myself, like I do right now, and I know that Jonas and I are going to travel this year for a longer period of time and Sophia as well. Um, when we know that actually I want this to happen this year, then it's a thing to really dive deep into when during this year do I want this to happen? Because it's really magical when we understand when we want something to happen, because then we can actually make a plan. And then we jump into number four, which is about the plan, which is obviously to know how much money do I actually need in order to do what it is that I want to do. And when we know, it, this is obviously going to depend on uh, on number one, which was setting your intention. So depending on what kind of place you want to be going to, it's going to cost le more or less. But I talked with Jonas about this the other day, and he was like, I think that so many people think that living on the beach and traveling the world costs so much more than it actually does. So depending on what, because when Jonas did his first trip and when he first started out his online business, I think he lived, well, he told me this the other day. What did he say? Was it less than 6,000 sec a month? 
but then he didn't have super high standards but he just wanted that freedom of actually being able to live from anywhere around the world but if if you would watch the um, video how to become a muscle manifest your coach making four to eight thousand sec a month with that which is only by the way taking on four clients a month which is kind of nothing and truly incredible because we don't also we don't also want to be working our asses off when we are in the paradise or wherever we are we want to be able to be super super effective with our time so that we can really have a quality of life so when we are if we if we are using that what i teach in the how to become a muscle manifestor coach making 48,000 sec a month then we can easily easily in most countries around the world live very comfortably which is kind of incredible so that was uh number four to to kind of make a calculation on what how much is it actually going to cost to live in the place that you want to live a good way of figuring this one out that jonas and i are doing now is that we are watching a lot of youtube videos so we are looking at tulum right now which is going to be one of the places where we will be going and uh, we are looking at a lot of youtubers and a good phrase to search for is like cost of living in tulum for example or cost of living per month in bali so that is a super good way of kind of finding out what is the cost of living because diff obviously different places have different prices when it comes to accommodation when it comes to transport when it comes to uh food and groceries and everything so that is a super good tip to just go on youtube and, and youtube that and then number five this is not uh, we are not going to do this, but this is what we did the other time when we went tra traveling for one and a half years was to rent out our apartment. So that is like if you live in a place that you actually can rent out and you want to rent out, like that is a super good way of just keeping uh, the cost more affordable as well, because then you don't stand with double, double rent. So that is the fifth thing. But again, in this this period of time we're not going to rent this place out so it will be standing here until we come back and then we know that we can come back anytime we want so that was one of the advantages as well because when we were in bali and our apartment was uh we were renting out our apartment in stockholm then we could not go home just any day we were like okay we actually have to sync with the person who lives in our apartment when she wanted to move out so so this time we are not gonna rent it, uh, our home out, but in the beginning when starting your online business and you want to keep your costs low, that's an amazing way. Rent out your apartment and have, start your income online. Does that make sense? Amazing. Uh, and then there are some practical steps that we are looking for, uh, which is for us, it is the fact of community. I guess that if you have been in personal development space, you know that you kind of become an average of the five people that you have around you. So I am so, like my clients in the master manifestor community, they hear me talk about this all the time, being so selective with the people that I have around me. I can have people around me for a few, like some people, I really see this. Some people, they come into my life for a short period of time and we really learn and we really grow. And then we are not for each other anymore. And that is a part of this whole amazing journey as we are evolving. Because we, we really need, especially as highly sensitive women. Who is highly sensitive? Yes, amazing. <laughs> um, especially when we are highly sensitive, we need to be extra careful with who we have around us and what... what um, what environments we are in and what kind of people we are with. So for us, both for Jonas and me, having a community of like-minded people where we, where we are looking to travel to is a super important thing for us. This was one of the reasons why we really liked Shanggu in Bali, which is, by the way, I would still recommend for 
for everybody who wants to do this traveling, building your business online, I would really check out Bali. I would really check out Shanggu because it's really an incredible place. We feel a, a bit like we really got stuck, not physically got stuck, but we got stuck because we really, we were sucked in by Shanggu. We really, really loved Shanggu so much. But then in the end, it became a bit too much uh, because the, the energy there, there are so many entrepreneurs coming to, to Shanggu. There are so many amazing, incredible people that are working on their online businesses and they really want to improve their lives. So that is really, really, really an amazing place to be. And this is what we are looking for now, but I'm looking for a place that is a little bit more uh, quiet than Shanggu. So I, at the end of our almost one and a half year in Bali, I felt like Shanggu was a mini version of New York because this, the pulse was just so high. Like there was so much going on all the time and there were a million things to do. And I just felt at the end, I was like, this is just too much for me after spending so long time there. So now I'm looking for a bit more, more quiet pace of life but we want that community we want that same kind of co community with people who are like for us we are not looking for or i'm going to talk for myself i'm not really looking for beginners in their businesses now because i've come very far in my own business so i want to look for a community that have like many people who are where i am at now in my business when we went to shanggu and starting out our businesses then there were a lot of other people that were in the same kind of state where we were at in our business. Does that make sense? Amazing. Wonderful. Did somebody raise your hand? I think I saw, was it Marielle? Did you raise your hand before? I'm not sure. Okay, if you have any questions, you can type them in, uh, you can type them in the chat and I will make sure to, to answer them because I think I saw a hand was raised, but I'm not sure. Okay. So yeah, so that was the part about the community and a good way to figure out about the community is also to go on YouTube. Who, who uses YouTube to search for things? YouTube is really my, my go-to uh, because I find that it's, it's so easy to get an understanding of the people when you actually get to, especially the vlogs. Like if you would search for a vlog, like a day in life in Shanggu, for example, then you get a feeling for the vibe in Shanggu. So this is what we are doing with Tulum now. So when Jonas and I had lunch day, we were watching uh, Tulum vlogs because we, re I have never been there. Jonas have been there many years ago, but we really want to get a vibe for what is the community like. So we do that on YouTube. Also, of course, the visa process. One thing about, I don't know, has any of you been living abroad before? Okay, so Maria has, okay, amazing. So then you may or may not be familiar with this. What country were you living in, Marie, before? Okay, you're, you're muted, so I can't. <laughs> but if you just type it in the chat uh, and then I will see. So yeah, so about the visas, this was not, I, I was not familiar with this. Of course, depending on how long you want to stay somewhere, the visa thing is, is important to consider as well so in bali when we were there it was like you were allowed to be there for three months and then you had to go out of bali to renew your visa so it was kind of a process to actually be allowed to, to stay there i think that this is probably the advantages of being in europe because we don't need visas which i didn't know like how luxurious that actually is but it is an amazing thing but obviously when we are going to mexico we will probably I've not checked the visas yet, but I know with the US that I think, or I think for the US that we are allowed to stay for 90 days, but I'm not really sure. But that is a part of the process that we are looking at now about the visa process. Um, because depending also how long you want to stay somewhere, uh, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see this comment very, very soon. Um, depending on how long you want to stay somewhere, this could really be, a thing to check out about the visas like how long are you actually allowed to stay without going back and forth and in and out of countries um so that was the visa thing and then wi-fi if you're gonna do your online business and you're gonna do meetings it's going to be important with the wi-fi 
So that was something that I was just adding to this list because this is something that we are looking at right now as well. So what are the co-working spaces like? Do they have good Wi-Fi? Can we actually work from there? This was one of the things that triggered me to make more of online courses and programs when we were in Bali, which is the next thing, which is the construction. So when we were in Bali, there was so much construction going on because it was really developing in Shanggu. And uh, because of the dis construction going on, it was actually hard for me to do sessions with clients because when I do sessions with clients, I wanted to be completely quiet. So it was kind of hard to do sessions, but it really triggered me to do what I actually wanted to do, which was to start to create an online course. So I create, created the whole base of Master Manifesto, which is now the base of the training that my clients go through today, which is how to really manifest the life that you absolutely want a life in complete freedom. Uh, and I see some of my awesome clients are here that are going through that training right now from, from Bali. So that was actually thanks to the construction work going on in Bali that when I couldn't take on so many private clients, I was like, how can I start to help people without having private sessions? So that was how the, that base uh, turned out. So that is something that I would check as well that we are checking now when we are looking at where to go in Tulum, we are checking out, do they have construction work going on? Because we don't want to end up in a hotel or an Airbnb close to a construction. Uh, and what was the last thing? So that was the visa process, the community, the Wi-Fi construction. Yeah, and then I would also look at the seasons. This was nothing that I was familiar with uh, before we went to Bali, but this is something that I am aware of now. So in Bali, for example, uh, the, uh, the, the good thing about being there or anywhere in the off season is that there are less people. But the downside of being there when it's not high season is the weather many times. So in Bali, during their high season, which is their rainy season, it rains a few times a day, which was not that bad in my opinion, but it was very, very, very humid. So we were many times walking around being completely sweaty. So that is one thing that I would look at as well. Like when is the good season to actually go? Could it, we are looking now, can we go in kind of a between season so that we are not going in the high season when all the tourists are there, but we are also not going when the weather is not so nice. Uh, so I'm going to see what the comment was. Okay, amazing. So I've got a name of a woman in Tulum. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay, amazing. So yeah, those are the steps that we are taking now to really look at what how to decide where to go and what you have to do in preparations before you go somewhere. But of course, the main thing is to have your own business. Like that, that is going to be the main thing and everything. If we don't have our own business, and this is, I also talked about this in some other of the trainings that in Bali, we met so many people that did have their own businesses, but it was not a heart-based business. I have so many people reaching out to me and they say like, oh, I'm just becoming a virtual assistant or I'm going to start with with some kind of marketing. And I know Hania, who is here on the call, you, when you and I first started to talk, you told me that you were you were thinking about studying to become an internet marketer or you already had started. I can't really remember, um, but somewhere there. And then we, I remember I asked you if that was something that you felt your soul was really drawn to. And then we kind of understood that your soul was probably more drawn to helping people hands on and really making a massive difference in the world in that way. And you were doing that now and I'm so proud of you, which is just so incredible to see the transformation that you have been through. Because that was the thing that we did meet so many people in Bali who had their own businesses, but they were not. Yeah, okay, so you had you had already started, Hania, to, uh, and test that out, being an online marketer. Uh, but it didn't work out so well. And now you're coming into this and you're becoming a muscle manifestor, hypno coach. And the results that you're having here is it's just incredible. And I like, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> so it's really, really nice because we want to have like in our own businesses, we want to feel that we are so excited because if we are in paradise and 
like I saw so many people who were in Bali, but they, they were still not happy with the, the kind of impact they were having on the world. Then it's still like off balance. So does it make sense that we do not only want to have an online income, but we want to have an online income that actually feels like passion, making a difference in this world and being in alignment with our soul so that when we are working from the beaches, we can just completely enjoy our life. Does that make sense? <laughs> Wonderful, ladies. I am going to take off now. Uh, so I really hope that this gives you some inspiration on how, like, how to start to plan, like if you are serious, that you actually want to be traveling the world. And the interesting thing also, I saw one more thing I want to mention. Before New Year's, I think it was New Year's Eve, I asked my clients in our private Facebook group and I said, what was the highlights? The highlights of the year that has been. And I specifically remember Helena Vestelund, I remember your comment there and you said that you were surprised and kind of shocked by how fast the process had been. Uh, would you be okay, Helena, with coming on for, for a few seconds? Would that be all right if you unmute yourself? It would just be amazing to hear. Let's see if we can, if that works. Amazing, oh, yeah. amazing hey. wonderful. So yeah. would you be okay in sharing in English? Yeah. It will be great. Be okay. Fantastic. Would you like to tell us a little bit about that, like your, your process so far in the program? Because you, you started like, was it two and a half, three months ago, right? Um, three months ago. Yes, exactly. I think the second October or third October. Amazing. Yeah. Wonderful. And what, what are your impressions now? Like if you would come, if you would have listened to this, conversation or this training that I just had about working from the beaches, if you would have listened to this before and you are listening to this now, what what is the difference? Do you feel that it's more possible now when you're being through the money? Yeah, it's definitely possible now. Um, it wasn't three months ago. <laughs> it's it's a big difference. Yeah. Incredible. Now it's possible to, to do it. Yeah. And this is what yeah. I've really seen with you as well. So. I think it was just some days before Christmas and you yeah. were so excited. You were like, I really want to start helping people. Linda, what shall I do? So yeah. it really got me going so much as well. So you <laughs> and I, we were like running, not physically running, but we were running and producing so much so that you could really get going with people and really yeah. start to help people and make an impact. And now you do. Yeah, I do. Um, it's, it's, it's funny. It's, it's, it, yeah. Uh, I like it. Uh, it it is so it's so fulfilling to to see that I'm helping other people and that they are growing and they are solving their issues and just move on with the life and they are growing and getting bigger and I like all of that. Amazing! And it's been fascinating to hear you like when you have had sessions with your clients and you reached out to me afterwards and you were telling me like, Linda, this feels like so much fun and exciting yeah, and you fun. felt curious. Yeah, it's fun. It's very, very fun. I like it a lot. Amazing. And I just, yeah. I, I can't wait to see you on the beaches around the world because I know that <laughs> like, the, the year that you have ahead of you, it's, it's going to be really, really magical. Yeah, so much have happened in three months and yeah, it's going to be a magic. 2024 yeah thank you so much for coming in and thank, sharing. You. thank you okay everybody so i hope that that was helpful i had not planned this with helen i just i just got a feeling that i really wanted to invite her into this call and um thank you so much for <laughs> for 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 playing around with me <laughs> i wish you all a super beautiful afternoon and i'm super super excited to hear more about everybody's goals and what you would like to do when it comes to traveling the world for 2024 is this the year when you want to start to become really, really free or do you want to do it in another year? Please let me know. That would be absolutely awesome. I'm sending you all so much love, wishing you a beautiful day and I speak to you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Mm -hmm. Bye.